Welcome back to Jacko Sims. So today we will learn about how to verify whether a point satisfies a linear inequality. So what is the meaning of satisfying a linear inequality? So I'll give you an example. For example, x is greater than 5. So this is the linear inequality. And then if I say x is 4, that means it does not satisfy this linear inequality because x must be greater than 5, right? So that means it must be 6, 7, 8, or so on. So if I say x is number 8, 8 is greater than 5, right? So that means that yes, it satisfies the linear inequality. Okay, so mm, we need to verify whether it satisfies a linear inequality or not. So let's see the example 1. Given the linear equation, so we have this linear equation x is equal to negative 3x plus 6 and determine whether the given point satisfies this okay, the only difference is equal, greater than, or smaller than so we have a lot of points here, we, we, we need to see that is satisfy this one first one equal or satisfy the second inequality or the the this one okay so we have two methods one is uh, graphing method so we we plot the uh, we plot the this line we draw this line first this is a straight line because it's a linear equation so this red line we call it y equal to negative 3x plus 6 and every point on this line for example this point this point or this point they all follow this follow this equation okay and if you for this region, right, this region is y greater than negative 3x plus 6. And for this smaller region, we, uh, y is smaller than negative 3x plus 6. Okay, so we, we need to see where the points are located. First is 5 and 6. Okay, 5 is x. 5, 6, so the point is here, so it's in the greater region, okay, so the first one satisfy y greater than negative 3x plus 6, okay, the second one, 1 and negative 4, okay, 1, negative 4 is here, so this point, this point is smaller, so y is in this region right so y is smaller than negative 3x plus 6 okay the question c negative 1 and 9 negative 1 and 9 okay so it's somewhere s smaller than oh sorry just now it's 1 and negative 4 so 1 and negative 4 is here okay now it's negative 1 and Okay, so B, the point is wrong huh, just now, is here, 1 and negative 4. Okay, and then this one, 5 and 6 is here. And then negative 1 and 9, okay, negative 1 is here, positive 9 is here. Okay, so this point, this point is exactly on this line, so it's equal. So Y equal to negative 3X plus 6. And question D, negative 9 and 3. Negative 9 is here, positive 3 is here. So the point is here. This is negative 9, positive 3. This is in the smaller region. So Y smaller than negative 3X plus 6. And then 1, 1. Positive 1, positive 1. Okay, here. 1, 1. This is also small under this line right under this line so smaller than 
and then 7 negative 4 positive 7 negative 4 here 7 negative 4 this is above this line so it's a greater than so this method involves graphing so in conclusion all the points on this straight line is equal okay and all the points in the region above this straight line means I will shape the region every region on above this straight line we call it uh, greater than and all the points in the region below okay all the points in the region below the, below the line here yeah? so it's called uh, smaller than you need to remember the greater and smaller than and we will uh, do more about this we will learn more about this in the next lesson okay and then uh, just now we have the graphing method and then now we have the this method okay actually we have a simpler method so we have uh, this equation y is equal to negative 3x plus 6 is exactly the same question like uh, the before but we are solving using different method so I can write it like this so later I will check is it equal to uh, the left side is equal to the right side or is it greater than or is it smaller than I will check so now I will put the value inside okay the first x is 5 y is 6 so my y is 6 here and then my x is 5 so I substitute negative 3 5 plus 6 so negative 15 plus 6 is negative 11 so I compare this value 6 is greater than negative 11 so 6 is greater than negative 11 so my inequality satisfy this linear inequality so the first answer is y satisfy this uh, no uh, this coordinate satisfy this linear inequality so this like this okay the second question 1 and negative 4 so I substitute y with negative 4 and then this one x with 1 so negative 3 plus 6 is negative 3 plus 6 is 3 okay so negative 4 is smaller than 3 so that means my y is smaller than negative 3x plus 6 so this must satisfy this okay so this point satisfy this e linear inequality here negative 1 and 9 okay same thing so I will I will do it faster yeah so negative 3 negative 1 so it's a 3 plus 6 so 9 right so 9 is equal to 9 so this one is equal so this one is on the line on this line yeah is the coordinate located on the line okay next one negative 9 and 3 okay so 3 negative 9 so 27 plus 6 this one definitely a bigger number right okay so 3 must be smaller than that big number okay 1 and 1 okay so 1 y is 1 x is also 1 negative 3 plus 6 is 3 1 is smaller than 3 so my equation must must like this okay the last one y okay so y is negative 4 your x is 7 negative 21 plus 6 so it's a smaller number okay so you can check with the previous method uh, you will get the same answer like this okay 
So today you will you already learn about how to determine a point satisfy a linear inequality or not. You can use graph method or you can compare the left side with the right side. So you know that is it equal or is it bigger than or is it smaller than. Okay. So thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share the videos with your friends.